hey there, this is not Bland Bistro Reservation Line. Do you want to make a reservation? Yeah, I'm interested. Can you tell me what date you'd like to make the reservation for? Let's do tomorrow, September 8th. I'm thinking around, it's possible, like 5.30 p.m. And then I got like maybe like three guests coming. All right. So tomorrow, September 8th at 5.30 p.m. with three guests. Is that correct? Yeah, no, that sounds good. In today's video, we're going to learn how to start automating our phone calls with AI. Using the power of Zapier and Bland AI, we're able to do a lot of cool stuff. Some of this includes analyzing calls with AI, getting transcripts from the calls, even sending a call. Therefore, in this video, let's learn how we can start automating our phone calls for our business. Sound good? Let's jump in. Welcome back, y'all. My name is Corbin Brown, and we're going to be checking out today how we can start automating our phone calls so we don't have to answer them anymore. To start off here in the flow I'm going to show you today, it's going to be in the description down below. And on top of that, we're going to be leveraging Zapier interfaces. I want you to think of Zapier interfaces like a Google form, a type form, or just like a landing page for a website. So what you're about to see is applicable to anything when it comes to forms in general. In addition, you're going to learn how to send automatic phone calls that are tailored for your business through this entire workflow. Let's go ahead and jump in here as in today's video. We're gonna take the role as a restaurant called Bland Bristro. We're gonna see how good it is. We're gonna check out the food. Let's go ahead and make our form today. I'm gonna to go ahead and select start from scratch. Now what's great about Zapier interfaces is that it's completely free to start. So you can see if you like it. It's gonna jump down here and just select form. With form selected here, we're gonna go ahead and create a reservation form. That's gonna be the use case for today's video. Obviously, apply that to whatever your business does, your services, your products, etc. Let's go ahead and add a title here. I made this little plus button here. You could hit text. I'm gonna drag it up here. And we're gonna just do Bland Bistro. Now this, you might be like, why, why are we calling it Bland Bistro? This will make more sense later in the video. We'll put at the bottom there, reservations. And let's go to proceed here. So what we're gonna add here is gonna be the email. We'll go ahead and add another field here, which will be the user's name, insert field. And finally, we'll go ahead and add the user's phone number or request the user's phone number. We'll do number. We will choose phone number, phone number. So the idea here is this. We are gonna grab the user's phone number in this form. Now, obviously, however you grab the user's phone number will be whatever workflows you have currently existing within your business. Once we grab this user's phone number, we're gonna be able to call it with artificial intelligence, and you're gonna see this all live in today's video. Insert field, pretty good. With all this done here, let's go ahead and provide some dummy data here. We're gonna be able to reference in our workflow we're gonna create later. So let's go to click this little link right here and proceed. Once we open up this form here, let's go ahead and provide some dummy data here so we can reference it and make sure our workflow works perfectly once we push it out to everyone. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put Jim here, just with the email of Jim Apples. If that's your Gmail, I don't know how I found you. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put my real number here so you can actually see live how this demo would work. And for you, of course, you'd put your number there as well so you can see how the call would interact in the context of this workflow. Let me go ahead and put my number there. Once I put my number there, I'm gonna hit submit. Submit, form submitted. So once we have the data sent, let's go to make sure we add that to a zap or an automation. We're gonna hit add action. We're gonna do run zap for when the trigger is when the form is submitted. Create zap. Looking good so far. Now, obviously, in your context, that's going to be wherever you grab your original data for that phone number. For me, though, I grab it from that Zapier interfaces. So I'm going to go ahead and test this trigger and I'm going to get my dummy data. And there is the form submission. So before we continue this workflow here, let me show you how to connect Bland AI, which is going to automate these phone calls. Let me show you how to create a whole conversational, fine tuned version of a phone call for your business all in this video. Sound good? Let's jump over. Coming over to Bland AI here, we're going to come down to a profile here. For me, it's Corbin. We're going to hit API keys. Now, for obvious reasons, my API key is hidden. Yours will be as well. Obviously, don't share this publicly. This is going to be specific to your account. Now that you know where to get your API key associated with your account, come back over to Zapier apps, type in Bland AI. Once you're there, you're going to hit connect. In order to connect to Zapier, we're going to need two major things. That API key I referenced earlier and also your name. So for me, I'm just going to enter my name, which if you didn't know, it's Corbin. I'm going to go ahead and come back over to this setting here. Hit copy. Once I've copied it, I'm going to come back over here and paste it and then hit yes, continue Bland AI. Continue with Bland AI. And here we go. We are fully connected here. So let's go to the next step. As a side note, if you want to test your connection, simply hit these three ellipses, hit test connect, and you'll get a green check mark. Now that we have Bland AI integrated into Zapier, we can start leveraging it within our workflows. Let's go to add a step here. I'm going to type in Bland AI. The event we're going to do here is we're going to send a phone call. Send phone call. Now, the last thing I'm going to configure personally is going to be the phone number. But for now, let's go ahead and set up all these other steps here so it's set up perfectly for these type of calls. So first thing I'm going to do is identify specific parameters within this phone call. So it's coming down here real quick. We're going to go ahead and first off, increase our model to enhanced. Next, we're going to go ahead and make sure we have the first sentence identified. 
Because typically in a phone call, when someone calls, you want to kind of give context of who they are. So I'm going to paste this. Hey there, this is not Bland Bistro Reservation Line. Do you want to make a reservation? For wait for greeting, I typically put this to true. You have the option of whether or not you want to record the underlying call. Your choice. Now scrolling back up here, let's go and create a prompt here that's going to be able to grab relevant data that we care about within the call. So due to the fact that this is a reservation, I'm going to go ahead and get this specific data. The date, the time, and number of guests. Therefore, for each one of these data points, the data that you care about within that underlying call, make sure you grab the date, put it here, the time, and the number of guests. What's cool about this feature here is this is going to allow the AI to grab this data and allow us to use it later on in the workflow. Now, of course, the underlying number you're gonna put here is gonna be from the original area that we're grabbing the data from. That's the trigger of this entire workflow. So for me, that's gonna be this form submission. I'm gonna go ahead and add this number here and let's try it out. Hey there, this is not Bland Bistro Reservation Line. Do you wanna make a reservation? Yeah, I'm interested. Can you tell me what date you'd like to make the reservation for? Let's do tomorrow, September 8th. I'm thinking around, it's possible like 5.30 p.m. And then I got like, maybe like three guests coming. All right. So tomorrow, September 8th at 5.30 p.m. with three guests. Is that correct? Yeah, no, that sounds good. Great. I've got that down. We'll see you tomorrow, September 8th at 5.30 p.m. with three guests. Have a great day and we'll talk to you then. All right, thank you. That was pretty good. And I just reserved a table for tomorrow with three different guests. So who's coming? Who wants to join me? So once we have a successful call, the next step here is we're going to add another bland AI block here. We're going to do the action event of get transcript. Hit continue. The call identifier is going to be from the previous step, which is going to be a unique identifier for the call. Click. Hit continue. Test this step. Scrolling down here, what bland AI does for us, which is really cool, is it allows us to get a summarized version of that underlying call here. So as you can see, the caller inquired about making a reservation at Not Bland Bistro at September 8th at 5.30 p.m. for a party of three. Pretty good. So with this piece of information, let's go ahead and just format it so we can go in and grab those specific metrics. I'm going to do a chat GBT block here. We'll do an event of conversation. In this conversation, we're going to provide the summary of the call and just output the relevant data points that we care about. So I'm going to do summary of a phone call. Put parentheses here. We will select summary from the previous block here. I'm going to say output, semicolon, and then we're going to output the date, the time, number of guests. With this all selected here, I'm going to up my model here to gpt 4 l and then we're going to put a memory key here. So for consistent outputs, we're going to do res, pervasion. And then from here, we can simply continue, test this step, and we should get a good output here of all three data points. And there we go. Date, September 8th, time, 5.30 p.m., and number of guests, three. Now with this formatted information, you can send it anywhere. So whatever the use case is for your business, go ahead and send that data to it, whether it's a Slack channel, an email, a reservation software, a Google calendar, whatever it may be. Now you've successfully set up automated phone calls for your business. I'm gonna go to make sure I leave this workflow in the description down below. Leave a like, it's completely free, and I'll see you in the next video.